Hello everyone, I welcome you to She Always Rise Ministry if you're new here. Um, I am Pastor Katrina and I thank you so much for coming to this ministry. You conqueror, you riser. You've risen time and time again, no matter what the enemy threw your way, no matter the setbacks, the delays, no matter the curses, the generational curses, God has you right here where you are today, and I bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you to continue to be strong and to continue to conquer in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Before we get started in prayer, I would love to ask you to please repent for all your sins, known and unknown, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father God, I come to you, Lord, on behalf of this woman of God that has come along to pray. And I ask you, God, in Jesus' name, for you to protect her home. Protect her home, God. Every room of the house, God, every area of the home. I pray, God, for it to be filled up with your presence, with your presence, with your spirits, and with your angels in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, God, for you and your angels to war on their behalf against anything, God, that needs to be fought against. I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, for this person. To be able to pay every bill that she has in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray God in the mighty name of Jesus for you to outpour a financial increase into her home. So she and her loved ones can live comfortably. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for you to keep this woman stable. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus for you to dismantle that spirit that will try to cause her to move or have her fear in the move. I pray, God, for you to combat and for you to war against any enemy, God, that will try to sit there and attack this woman of God with things breaking in the home in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, if there's anything that has been break broken in her home, I pray God for restoration in the name of Jesus. I pray God in Jesus name for your riches to be applied to every area of her house in the name of Jesus. I pray for this woman of God not to lose nothing for your word your word says God in that Jehovah seekers of Jehovah lack no good thing. I pray, God, for this woman of God not to lack no good thing. I pray for her children not to lack no good thing. I pray for her husband not to lack no good thing in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for you to put a hedge of protection around her and her loved ones around their mind and body, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, for you to preserve their minds and preserve everything about them, God, and protect them, God, from any kind of enemy, God, trying to fight against their mind, trying to, you know, trying to influence or anything like that in the name of Jesus. I pray for their children to soar, to prosper, to conquer in school, in their studies, when it comes to making friends, when it comes to keeping up in class, when it comes to just everything that will happen in their children's life. I pray for them to soar and for them to prosper. I pray for you to protect their children, God, from danger. I pray for you to protect their children, God, from all forms of danger, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, in Jesus' mighty name, for you to also protect this woman of God and this man of God from any kind of dangers, God, that may try to come their way. Protect all of them, God, from car accidents. Protect them in their home, God, and their cars and stuff from burglars, robbers, and just anything else, God, that is not like you. I pray, God, for you to protect them in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, God, for your angels to for you and for you God to be in the front of their car behind their car both sides and of their car in the car and in them God as they travel in the name of Jesus as they travel God be all around them and in them God fill them up God I pray God for them to have peace in their home I pray for them to have peace in the car I pray God in Jesus name 
for their atmosphere in their home to be nurturing. I pray for their atmosphere in their home to be calm, to be homey, to be comfy in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, in the mighty name of Jesus for for um, you to expose, God, anyone that should not come to their home. In the name of Jesus, I pray, God, for you to keep away, God, anyone with bad intentions, anyone wishing that they lose their house, anyone, God, that will bring, you know, you know, negativity, you know, bad spirits or anything to their home, God. Protect their home, God, in the name of Jesus for those such things in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray, God, in Jesus' name, that every oil that this person has put on, on their walls, on their beds, on anything they have, and they ask you, God, to protect it and to bless their home, I put my faith with theirs in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, in Jesus' name, for that protection to be increased, for that blessing that they ask you for to be increased in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I pray for their homes to be a haven to them, God. Somewhere nice to come back to. Somewhere that they long to come back to. I pray for their home, God, to feel like home. I pray, God, for it not to feel like a jail cell, for it not to feel like a prison, for it not to, you know, just feel like anything but a home. I pray, God, for them to live comfortably and for them to be at peace, for them to have everything it is that they need in in their home and for their home to be protected from the devil and from any other enemy in the name of Jesus. Protect their home, their stuff, and everything from curses as well. Your word says, God, that a curse done without cause cannot come. I pray, God, if it is a cause, I pray, God, for you to expose it so they can make it right in Jesus' name so there won't be no more cause in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for you to protect their homes, God. Protect them in the house, God. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Bless their neighbors, God. Their neighbors as well. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cause confusion into anyone, God, that will try to bring harm to them. In Jesus' name. And I just pray, God, for this person to continue to rise up, to continue to wake up the next day, to continue, God, to choose you over any and everything. I pray for this woman of God to, to walk in her call, this man of God to walk in his call. And I pray, God, in Jesus' mighty name. For you to come against by fire, anything that will try to take them away from you, anything that will try to draw them into the world in the name of Jesus. If you ever done witchcraft before, God says this is a prophetic word, God, yes. Um, if you've ever done witchcraft before, you will never do it again, I promise, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says, if you ever done witchcraft before, you will never do it again. I promise. Hallelujah. I decree over your life. If you ever done witchcraft before, you shall, you will not do it again. God says, I promise that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. A lot of times when you used to do witchcraft or whatever like that, a lot of times the enemy will sit there and try to cause fear unto that person that was just set free. And will try to make that person feel like, oh, you're going to end up back in witchcraft and all this other stuff. But God had told me to decree over you that you will not go back into witchcraft. Hallelujah. You will not go back into witchcraft. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray, God, for you to protect every individual, God. No matter if they used to be in witchcraft, no matter if they used to be, 
and um, be in addiction, whatever it is, God. And I decree over their life in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, they shall not go back in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, they shall not go back in Jesus mighty name they shall stick with you god all the way to the very end of their life hallelujah all the way to the very end of their life they shall stick with you god every time the enemy comes in like a flood god i pray god for you to raise that standard up against any enemy that will try to draw them back into sin against any mind tormenting enemy that will sit there and try to cause fear to the individual to make them fear going back into the world hallelujah going back into that sin hallelujah you will not you will not in jesus mighty name hallelujah the bible says god will never cast you away the bible says god will never leave you nor forsake you the bible says can't nobody deliver you out of his hands hallelujah whatever enemy is coming trying to say you're going back into sin is not strong enough not powerful enough that to to take you out of the hands of god it is written who Jesus sets free is free indeed. You are free of any kind of sin that God delivered you out of. It is written, old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. You are a new creature in Christ. You are a new creature in Christ. And you shall receive that full life in the name of Jesus. You shall receive that full life in Jesus' mighty name that God promises. You shall receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for your marriage. I pray in the name of Jesus for your marriage to be restored. I pray for so much love to be between you and that person that you are married to in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for the love to increase between you two. I pray in the name of Jesus for there to be less arguing, less disagreements, less accusing. I pray for there to be more unity more trust, more love, more laughs, more peace in your marriage in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. If there's any type of generational curses that is on your bloodline that will cause pre, you know, premature uh, marriage, well, premature divorce, meaning like your, your marriage end, um, I come against it by fire in Jesus' name, and I decree and declare that that general case, that generational curse is broken off your life right now in the name of Jesus. You shall be married for all your days. There shall be love in your marriage. If there's anything trying to draw you to get a divorce, I cast it down to the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Draw near to God. Draw near to God. If there's anyone in a marriage and you feel like divorcing the individual, you feel like giving up on the individual, I pray in the name of Jesus for you to draw near to God. I pray for you to fight the real enemy, which is the devil, the one that don't want you married. Hallelujah. And I pray for your marriage to last. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. May it be love in your house, peace in your house, joy in your house, trust in your house. Hallelujah. May your ground you stand on be stable. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. I bless you. I bless your going out and I bless your coming in. You are blessed of God in Jesus' mighty name. No matter what it is you're going through, no matter what you're battling against, you are blessed of God in Jesus' name. I want you to look around at everything you have, even your wedding ring, even your freedom, honey. Whether it be a baptism certificate, whatever form of salvation you may have or whatever, even if you just touch your heart because you know God is in your heart, you shall not lose it in Jesus' mighty name. 
you shall not lose it in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to think about everything it is that you have. I want you to think about everything you have. I mean, everything you desire. I'm so sorry. Everything you desire, whether it be good health, you know, a loving, peaceful marriage, obedient kids, <laughs> good health, whatever it is, you shall receive it in Jesus' mighty name. You shall receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Until next time.